to the Finnish cigar. And so we don't, uh, when I started this program, this program is in, uh, not a commercial for CEO because uh, I, I believe that you guys have already smoked my cigars. You either have dug uh, my cigars or you don't like them, whatever it is. Uh, I just want to share some knowledge that uh, I learned throughout the uh, training and all that. So we're going to begin with the first slide with the seat. So the seat is the second important thing to your tobacco. The seat uh, tends to be, when I ask this question, they say the seat is the, the most important thing. No, because the reason the seat is not the most important thing, because it's just a seed. What that seed is going to give me is that plant. And that plant is going to, regardless when I plant that seed at, is going to produce that tobacco plant exactly the same. So we have right now, Connecticut shade is grown in three countries. What are the three countries that uh, is growing Connecticut shade? Name one. U.S. U.S. Thank you. Now the other one. Nicaragua. No. Honduras. <laughs> and then the uh, third one is Ecuador. Those are the main areas that we're growing Connecticut shade or Connecticut broadly. So what that does, that seed is going to introduce that plant to you, me, and you, if you stack up the three plants and say, Ricky, what plant is from where? My answer is, I don't know. I have no clue. You're an expert. What do you mean you don't know? Because that plant looks exactly the same. The only way I can tell you where those plants are from, how? Taste it, please. I have to smoke that tobacco, and I can say this is from Ecuador, this is from Honduras, and this is from Connecticut, because the soil is going to lend the body and the flavor to that tobacco. So typically, when you look at the tobacco plant like us, we're going to look at that tobacco plant two ways. We're going to look at it in priming and sections. The priming. The, what the priming is, it's a roll of tobacco leaves. So if you look at the tobacco uh, plant, you have, uh, typically you have about six to seven primings. This area. So the first priming is going to represent three leaves of tobacco. And the third row of tobacco is going to be the second priming, three more leaves, and so on and so on and so on. So the other side of the tobacco plant, what we do is take that tobacco plant and condense it to sections. And these are terms you're going to hear a lot about. You hear this term used a lot today, lajero. Everybody's saying, oh, my uh, cigar has a lot of a lajero, a lot of a lajero. The, uh, thing that, the second thing you hear a, uh, a lot about is seco. The third thing you don't really hear often is the velado. Why do we don't talk about the velado? We really don't use the velado because velado is the base of the tobacco plant and what is it doesn't have? Yep. Yep. Flavor and body. Yep. There's no flavor and body in the uh, first and uh, second primings or first and uh, second row. Cheap cigar companies will use that as a filler. A filler, or we'll do bundles, or if we uh, have a cigar that we're uh, uh, putting a lot of lajero in, lajero wants to tend to burn very slow because the tobacco is very thick. So if we have a problem with the burning and keeping that cigar lit, what do we do? We go back and introduce some velado. Velado bur burns very quickly and very good. It, uh, the, the only thing he, he wants to do is burn. He doesn't want to offer flavor. He doesn't want to offer body. He's there for the burning character works of that tobacco. So there's so two. Is it, is it considered the burn leaf? Is that what, is that what it's called at times, the burn leaf? I've right. never heard that statement, but I, 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 yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can use that. So if I say, you know what, I need some burning tobacco, they'll say, you know, you need to use a lot of them. So there's two ways that we're going to harvest tobacco. 
So when, when that uh, tobacco is full and grown, uh, we're ready to harvest that tobacco. There's two ways that we're going to harvest. Do you know way one? What's the first way we harvest tobacco? What is it called? Priming. We're going to prime that tobacco plant. Priming means that we're going to go out in the field, the plant is fully grown, and we're ready to harvest the tobacco. So what we're going to do is go out of the field and start to pick the tobacco. Where we pick the tobacco first is in the base of the tobacco plant. So the first row, the first priming, three leaves, we'll go down there and we pick the whole field of only one priming, one row. And we're done for that day. We'll harvest that day from 6 in the morning to 10 of the, uh, in the morning. We have maybe 7 or 8 hours left in sunshine and we're done harvesting that day. Why? Why do we quit at 10 o'clock in the morning? Because when that tobacco plant starts to see sunlight, it's going to start to dry out and we're going to start to rip that tobacco. So when we harvest the tobacco in the morning, it's damp and it's very loose and we can manhandle that tobacco. So that's the reason that we harvest only for that certain amount of time and we're done. And so when we're harvesting that and saying priming, we're going to say we're going to put the first row of tobacco plant on the base. So we're done with that. When do we start to pick the second row? Next day? Next day? Next day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe five to seven days later, and we're going to wait. And allow that tobacco plant to absorb that uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, soil and all the nutrients on that soil. So it takes me about five to seven weeks to fully pick that tobacco plant. So we'll go out there, and so right now, I could say, He's already been one week, two weeks, three weeks, that's four weeks later, and she's just getting to the third or fourth row of tobacco plant. That's going to allow me to introduce more flavor to that tobacco plant and more body. So the longer I keep that tobacco leaf on that plant, the uh, more body is going to breed. The longer I keep that tobacco uh, leaf on that plant, the more flavor. So that's the reason. If you look at the terms, mulatto, tasteless. Seiko, this is where we get the flavor. If I want more flavor from my cigar, I'm always going to go to my Seiko. If I have body uh, concerns, I'm going to go to a Flajero. Okay? So the second way that we harvest the tobacco is what? It's called stalk cut. So we're going to go out to the uh, tobacco field. The plant is fully grown. We're going to go to the base of the tobacco pair and cut that stalk. Hang it upside down, full intact. Why do we do that? The, uh, the nutrients flow to the... There's one certain nutrient that we want to go from the bottom to the top by hanging it upside down. What is that? Sugar. Sugar is so heavy in your tobacco it seems to settle in your base. So if I harvest that tobacco, flip it upside down, it's going to allow me to let that sugar run throughout the heat. And that is typically when we get Maduros, our sweeter tobacco. So, and Maduro is something else, and we'll talk about that because uh, I need to talk to you about uh, a flathead. If you look at the flathead, do you have a flathead? Here you Anybody? go. Yeah. So, you know, oh, sorry. I want to open this up. if you look at it, uh, this uh, leaf, very dark, very rich, very oily. Maduro or natural? Maduro. Maduro? 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 This is natural. Mm. Because I'm harvesting this leaf, this wrapper, for sake of. To be able to call it Maduro, it has to come from a section of the tobacco plant between Lajero and uh, Seiko. That's the only way that I can leak 
really truly called the Maduro. If I harvest it from Seiko or Lajero only, I can't call it uh, Maduro. Okay? So you can never judge a cigar by its looks and say, that's Maduro. Or you can never judge a cigar, I can't smoke that, Ricky. Why? It's too dark, it's too black, it's too heavy. I can make a pitch black cigar very mild. I can make a pitch black cigar uh, uh, medium body, and I can make a pitch black cigar very full body. And I can do also do that with a light wrapper. I can make a mild, uh, a medium, and full body. So you never can say, this cigar I can't smoke because I, the, uh, the way it looks. The only way you can judge that cigar is how? Smoke it. Smoke it. Smoke it, smoke it yourself, and you tell me the body of that cigar. So we tend to harvest only Connecticut broadleaf and that stock cutting. We're always harvesting uh, a Connecticut shade by priming. Okay? Thank you. So once the uh, uh, the tobacco has been harvested, uh, this is the farmer's uh, processing. So they're, they're going to take that uh, tobacco that they harvest in the morning and ship it to the barn. And what happens in the barn is what the first.